Okay, I am very excited about this. I took this footage of orbs, light orbs, in my room last night, which proves to me that you don't have to go anywhere or have anything really fancy or expensive in order to explore something very, very, very unique. And you will find out just how unique, because I'm gonna tell you. This is an orb, one of thousands and thousands of pictures of them I could take, and each would be different. And this is, I get this image from using my little camera, and I will show you this one. This is it, a Kodak Easy Share 2710, or is that Z710, I don't know. But anyway, that, plus these little marbles, there's a big size and a little size. And there's a little bigger one. And they're put together. I used to put them together with uh, hot glue, but now I've decided, no, the hot glue gets too much in the way of looking through the marbles. So now they're put together with super glue, which gets all over your hands when you use it. But that's beside the point. This, this is something exciting. When you zoom that camera in up close up, on the shininess of the light as seen through the marbles. And that's my great instrument. Anybody can make this, anybody can do this. But when you do that, you get these pictures. At least I do. I don't know if another person would get the same result because so far no one has joined me in this effort to explore this. But let me just show you before I show you the most amazing thing of all, let me show you some of the different orbs, pictures of them. The, they all are different, interesting as all get out. And I know it's not something in the camera, although there are some things in the camera that always stay in the same place, like for instance, this little character right here, and this little character right here. And I don't see them on the surface of the lens of my camera. I clean it, and yet there are certain things that are always there in certain spots. And I don't know, I just say ignore it. I don't know what to tell you it is. I don't know how to take my camera apart and see if there's something visibly I could see. But I do know these things don't show up in regular pictures like of flowers or the or the outdoors or whatever they don't show up but when I take the pictures of the light they do of these orbs and now before I get to the most fascinating thing of all and it is fascinating let me show you a few more this is a very colorful one very colorful and I'll pull it up so you can I love the way you can move things around and the next one real similar. And some of the things that you see when you're looking at these orbs move around like they're little creatures of some sort, little light creatures. And I will just show you a few. Some of them are dull colored and some are brilliantly colored. This is one that's just gray and white. And uh, there's one with more color. I'll just show you a few. I have... <laughs> I've taken pictures of these orbs, and I don't even have any idea how many, maybe over a hundred pictures of, of just orbs by themselves still. But what I really am anxious to show you, let me get through these rather quick, is the video I made of them moving, the moving version of them. It's even more fascinating. I'll go back to this one and show you. They have these little round circles. And you will see in the movie video that these things come and go. They're like little breathing tubes or something. And it looks like when you see these orbs that you're looking through water or some kind of liquid. And there's dark spots in them. But I will be talking about all that because I'm going to talk the whole time of the movie. But now to get back to it. Oops, that's the bugs I saw outside yesterday. Now to get back to the movie, which is number 6461. So where am I? 
Right. It's skipping the movie. Okay. What I will have to do is go back to the library. 64 and 61. Where did my movie go? I wrote the number down, 64, 61. Okay, pardon my moment of, I don't know. Oh, there it is, 64, 61 now. Yes, 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 answer that. Didn't come on. Oh, it did, but I want it big. Okay, now, you can see my light source. You can see the rays of light coming from it, which is a lead light that I have in my room, and I had it up high on a shelf. And I was actually in bed, laying down with the camera in my hand, and the little uh, structure of marbles that are clear marbles. But of course, they have bubbles in them and little flaws in them. But you're not really looking through the marble. You're looking at the little glistening spots on the marble that shine from it. And you're zooming in with your camera on them. And every one... And there's, you, depends on how you put your marbles, but they make all kinds of little shiny things that you look into, which is actually, some of them, quite a few of them are this. When you squint your eye, they like close because they're the pupil of your eye. They're what you're seeing with your eye. Some don't close when you squint your eye. These light orbs are what they are too when I see them because of how I focus my eyes. But now the camera picks them up different but similar to how I see them with, with the uh, naked eye. Now look at that. Doesn't that look like it's breathing? Like it's pulsing? Like it's something alive? And this is a light orb. It is there because of the light that's shining back of it showing it up. It's like when you have light in a room, you have all this color and you have all this creation inside of light, which I believe light to be intelligent. I can't come to any other conclusion but that it is intelligent. And I think this is one of the most important things to have discovered and I hope this video goes viral. I really do. Because this is something. This is... I, I've got to get the attention of someone who studies for maybe quantum physics or something like that. But it's not that they would know a whole lot more than me. I'm learning this directly from the light. And I can't tell you what it means. I can just tell you what it looks like to me. And what I've done to uh, create say this this video I showed you what how I used the little marbles and and the light in a and also you don't want to have your flash bulb shutter open because if that light enters then it all goes white so you want it shut and um, look at this just let's just look at this for a little while I'm holding it as steady as my hands can hold it on one of the orbs, of which there are many, because I wanted to study what all's going on inside this one orb when I hold it in place as steady as a hand can hold it. And uh, it pulses. It's almost like it pulses with my very own pulse of my body. And the colors, oh. It's just, well, it's fascinating. <laughs> and I, I'm, my mind just goes off in all kinds of directions about well, what can we do with this knowledge? And then I think, well, you know, man's used knowledge that's been given to him by beings in the light, and they've used it to the destruction of mankind. Well, I do not want to create some kind of atomic bomb or weapon I want to use that. I don't even want to use this information as some means of getting fame or lots of money. No, because I have to come across like I feel 
which is that this is purely for the service of mankind. And I think the light is something that is changing for us, the rays that are coming in now from the sun. And I think the light has a lot to offer us. And if we can, if it is an intelligence, we need to get in cooperation with it and work with it. By the way, did you know that the word worship means to work with? So I guess I'm going to worship this light I'm, because I do plan on working with it, exploring further what all I can learn from it. I don't hear any actual noise, but I do have thoughts in my mind that are from my higher self about what I'm seeing. I could share that with you, but some, some of that is more of a personal nature. But I am told that this is light that is, well, I've been seeing all kinds of videos of where they're talking about the ethers and about There's this one man who talks about light that is filtered through crystals. It has a name, a Zozio. Bob, uh, no, not Bob, Bill Donahue talks about this on his Hidden Meanings um, videos that he puts online. He's really into studying all he can about God and the nature of reality. And he does tie a lot of things into the Bible. But the Bible to him is not a literal statement. It is allegory. And it is parables. And if we take it literally, then that's just going to confuse us and make us have some horrible ideas about what people used to do in those days. Plus, it's going to make us miss the point of what the allegory was really actually telling us because we take things literally and we we have talking snakes and we have men living in in the belly of a whale it's time that we wake up and throw off the traditional ways of thinking just because well why do we think that way because we don't want to disappoint our dear sweet grandmother who believed all this stuff or our parent or or anyone that we feel obliged to Follow their tradition. Follow your own heart. Look at this picture. This is something that is existing all around us invisibly. And it has a function. It has a connection with us. Even if I don't understand it or what it is, nor anyone else. I probably understand it probably just as good as anyone else because I'm the first one I, that I know of that's managed to film it. But um, look at it, it's alive. This is an alive orb of light and there's billions and zillions of them and they all look different from one another. Not only do they look different, but they're constantly morphing their colors from one to another. Now, I remember this part, look here. It really gets active. I'm still holding my camera as steady as I can in one position. No, no, no. Maybe right here I'm moving it around some to get more in. When I see these orbs myself with my natural eyes, without the aid of a camera, and I look through the glass, the glass um, marbles, I move it around this, the long length of the light ray out into other parts of the room that are further from the light source as far as the light will reach until I reach where it's dark and I won't get a picture. But I move it around because it's like a field out there that various places in it have different looks. Sometimes I wonder that what I'm seeing isn't... Uh, the very life force that animates our entire world and maybe all worlds I don't I don't know I'm just conjecturing here you can comment if you wish and give me your thoughts on it because I do not claim to be an authority on knowing what this is I 
everything I say to you is just my conjecturing and my inward feelings about it. I do know I took these pictures last night and I was so excited about showing them today. I have shown them in another video, but I, it was not near as good as this video is. But since I put the little marbles together with super glue instead of the hot glue, well, the hot glue was kind of getting in my way. I was seeing through it, uh, more so than the marble sometimes. But this is much better, and it's showing more. Look at that little black thing right there. Those move in and out of the orb. But right now, what I'm doing is I'm moving the camera and the marbles around to get to get more spaces out there in front of me to see if I can see. It's like I'm looking for something in the air, in the very air, in what looks like to us to be empty space. And I am so convinced that space is not empty at all, that it's full of myriads of activities of light and who knows, creatures of the light. And uh, they are fascinating me. Now I took these this video last night and I was up till almost four in the morning and then when I did lay down to go to sleep I couldn't sleep. My mind would not turn off. I was looking forward to today, to today when I would be able to make a video about this and show you this. Look at this one. This is very very bright right in there and it pulses so much it's it looks like it's ready to just burst open with something uh, it just well just fascinating i don't know what else to say i can t tell you this i would love to get the attention of someone who can study this with me someone of a scientific uh nature maybe a quantum physicist or people who are studying the tiniest things okay that's that video is over I will do you a little bit more while I have some time left on this video and this is done with a smaller the smaller little glass beads and I will show you it see there's activity happening in so many different fields because no two of these are exactly alike they're catching a different uh, field of colored light. And like I showed you with some of the still, still pictures of these, some of them are just black and white. And the ones that I see with my eyes, some of those little, I call them little orb whorls, some of them are like just basically blue and gray. And some are very colorful, and some are little black lines of various kinds and it is so fascinating. I really don't have adequate words to explain how excited I am about this but then there's a little fear. There's a little fear and I'll tell you why. I can show this to someone and get no reaction. It's like, what's wrong with people? They're not curious? They think this is ordinary? Is this ordinary and I just didn't know it? Is this something that is normal and I'm just now waking up to it? And then there's those people who might would think I'm trying to, to hoax them in some way, but I tell you, I do not know that much about cameras and about photoshops and about manipulating things. This is natural. On some of the still shots I, I got, the room was dark and so it turned out dark and I lightened it with a little thing on the sidebar that lets you put more light into the picture so that it would show up better. But that's the only alteration that I have done at all. To, and nothing to these videos because I don't know how to alter a video or make it uh, do anything but stop motion. Like, look at this, okay, a stop motion. When I do, it loses some of its clarity. I'll get, get it going again. Well, 
I don't know what to say about this little thing right here that I'm, my pointer is pointing to. It's always there. And maybe this one right here is always there. And this little thing right here that looks like a little pea pod. <laughs> I mean, if it's on my camera, I don't see how a scratch on my camera lens could have made something look like that. And then I even have the absurd thought that maybe these things are in there to aid the camera to see all this. So, I think I have a magic camera. <laughs> Not really, I do. I hate to say that it makes me sound so dumb. But there's some explanation for why there's this thing's always right here and this thing right here is always right there. And there's a few other little things like maybe that and what I'm pointing to there is very often right there on the screen and I will say one more thing before I, I don't want to use up all my time and this not be able to make a video if I use, make it too long but when I'm looking with my eyes and not with the aid of a camera I see a lot of things that I don't, I can't show you on here, and they're just as amazing. I can hardly explain them. I wouldn't even try before to explain any of this until I became able to get these pictures, so that you might have a little bit of belief that I'm not, that I'm seeing what I say I'm seeing. Because I'm not here to fool anyone. I, I don't want to fool myself. And sometimes I have fooled myself. Not intentionally, but you know, I have made statements that I would go back and say, well, I see that differently now. But anyway, I'm reaching 23 minutes almost, so I'm going to end this now. And put it on YouTube. Or maybe just send it to someone and see what they think about it first. That little part right there that you see, that's in my room. That's an overhead fan that's got a little weaving, woven, rather, part of it. So parts of the room, this, the uh, ceiling and all, show up in the background of these pictures. And look at those bubbles that come and go. And they say, they'll be there and then they go away. But i got to let this be because I'm, I'm, I don't want to make it too long. So this is the Dove Lady, over and out for now.